So, as you all know, Donald Trump recently announced that he would be expanding and extending the war in Afghanistan, and he even hinted at potentially doing more in Pakistan, even though immediately after he was elected, he ramped up our ongoing drone war in Pakistan. So, I mean, he's got that region of the world completely covered, but he is now setting his sights on a different country in another region of the world, Venezuela, and... I wish I could say that this is just hyperbole, but it's not. He literally threatened military action in Venezuela. Uh, Venezuela is uh, a mess. It's a very dangerous mess and a very sad situation. We have many options for Venezuela. And by the way, I'm not going to rule out a military option. We have many options for Venezuela. This is our neighbor. This is, you know, we're all over the world. And we have troops all over the world in places that are very, very far away. Venezuela is not very far away. And the people are suffering. And they're dying. We have many options for Venezuela, including a possible military option, if necessary. He said a military option is on the table, not once, but twice. He didn't mince words. He planned to say that. He threatened to invade Venezuela. So we know that he's probably staying in Afghanistan because of their mineral resources, and he, he wants a little bit of that. But when it comes to Venezuela, that's a different story, according to Donald Trump, because, you know, the government, they've just consolidated too much power. Um, they've become too dictatorial, and he really cares about the people. The people there are just suffering, and if he were to invade Venezuela, it would be for humanitarian reasons, right? No. Humanitarian wars, that's not a thing. That doesn't exist. There's no such thing as a humanitarian war. In fact, I'll tell you why Donald Trump is suddenly so interested in Venezuela. So when you look at countries with the largest oil reserves in the world here, way at the top is Venezuela with more than 298 billion barrels of oil. And according to World Atlas, quote, Venezuela is recognized as the country with the highest volume of proven oil reserves in the world today. This has been a rather recent distinction as until the turn of the last decade, Saudi Arabia held that place by quite some distance. Now, what's funny is that Unlike Saudi Arabia, Venezuela doesn't want anything to do with us. So they're not willing to share any of their oil with us. They want us to go away. In fact, back in 2006, this is how the former president of Venezuela, the late Hugo Chavez, described then-president George W. Bush. The president of the United States, the gentleman to whom I refer as uh, the devil, came here talking as if he owned the world. Como dueño del mundo. Truly, as the owner of the world. Un psiquiatra no estaría de más. I think we could call a psychiatrist to analyze yesterday's statement made by the President of the United States. As the spokesman of imperialism, he came to share his nostrums to try to preserve the current pattern of domination, exploitation, and pillage of the peoples of the world. An Alfred Hitchcock movie could use it as a scenario. I would even propose a title, The Devil's Recipe. So, needless to say, uh, Venezuela was not willing to play ball with us. They were not willing to offer, offer us any oil. And Hugo Chavez wasn't a big fan of George W. Bush, to say the least. And if they really didn't like us when George Bush was the president, then they should really, really love us now that Donald Trump is the president, considering the fact that he's the individual that said this. I would bomb the s*** out of him. <laughs> I would just bomb those suckers. And that's right, I'd blow up the pipes, I'd blow up the refi, I'd blow up every single inch, there would be nothing left. And you know what? You'll get Exxon to come in there and in two months, you ever see these guys, how good they are, the great oil companies? They'll rebuild that sucker brand new, it'll be beautiful. And I'd ring it, and I'd take the oil. And I said, I'll take the oil. And I'll take the oil. 
So that statement right there should scare any country throughout the world that has a considerable amount of oil resources because just last month, Donald Trump actually placed new sanctions on Venezuela and cited the government's consolidation of political power and growing authoritarianism as the reason why he did that. And even though Hugo Chavez's successor, Nicolas Maduro, has since maintained basically the same stance towards the United States as Chavez, well, it's pretty evident that Trump is starting to break him because Maduro recently stated, quote, if he, Trump, is so interested in Venezuela, here I am. Mr. Donald Trump, here is my hand. So in other words, he's saying, please don't sanction us anymore. Don't invade us. Look, just come to the table and maybe I'll consider giving you some of our oil. That's effectively what he seems to be hinting at right here. And what's really sad to me is that if you're a citizen in Venezuela, you might be dissatisfied with your government. I would be too. But you no longer have to just worry about the United States exploiting your country for resources that your government doesn't really share, you know, with you in terms of wealth. Uh, you now have to be worried about an outright invasion. So to have the president of the United States so casually threaten to invade another country. You can't do this. You can't say that military options are on the table so frequently. You've said this about Iran. You've said this about North Korea. And now you're saying this about Venezuela. You can't just invade every single country that you disagree with. I have a lot of problems with Venezuela. I wish that they would actually share their oil wealth with citizens and stop keeping them so impoverished. I mean, it, it's really, it's a frustrating situation in Venezuela, but that doesn't mean that you can invade them. Stay out of other countries. Mind your own business. I mean, U.S. imperialism has got to stop. But again, it really doesn't matter who you vote for. Republican, Democrat, they're all going to do the same thing. They're going to keep us involved in these wars because the military-industrial complex wants them to do so. So with Donald Trump threatening to invade Venezuela now, you know, the Pentagon, neoconservatives in his administration, they all love what they're hearing because the more countries they can invade, the better because war is a business and that's all there is to it. So if he can exploit Venezuela for their oil wealth, then certainly that's going to benefit the United States. And it's just, to me, it's so sickening. This is why people around the world view the United States in such a negative light. It's because of things like this. Support this podcast by becoming a patron at patreon.com forward slash humanist report.